pro-life leaders asked to meet with FBI director, the fact that agents Strzok and Page haven't been fired is beyond the pale. A group of national pro-life leaders has requested a meeting with FBI Director Christopher Wray following the release of text messages between two agents who trashed pro-lifers during the 2016 March for Life in Washington, D.C., and even discussed canceling the permit for the event. It's very disturbing that, now, FBI agents are showing this bias and hatred towards peaceful Americans, toward groups, Rev. Patrick Mahoney director of the Christian Defense Coalition, told Breitbart News during an interview. And, so, one has to ask, how far does this go? And has the FBI become politicized particularly on issues that impact more conservative views or views on faith? Last week, a transcript of text messages from January 22, 2016, the day of the March for Life revealed the conversation between FBI agent Peter Strzok and FBI attorney Lisa Page. The two were reportedly involved in an extramarital affair as they also worked on the federal investigations into allegations that President Donald Trump colluded with Russia to aid his election and into Hillary Clinton's email scandal. The transcript reads as follows. Strzok, F-king marchers making traffic problems. Page, yeah. Some extremely offensive video screens set up in front of district. I truly hate these people. No support for the woman who actually has to spend the rest of her life rearing this child, but we care about life. Assholes. Strasok, and literally I'm the last car through four lights as they shut down Pennsylvania Avenue. Hey, I have an idea. Snow emergency, cancel the permit. It's very troubling, and that's why we're seeking this meeting with Director Ray. Mahoney, a minister in the Reformed Presbyterian Church, said. We want assurances. When you have one of the FBI's lead agents and a key attorney for the FBI saying these things about an entire movement that represents millions of peaceful Americans across cultural, religious, and ethnic lines. Mahoney continued that had Strzok and Page made their comments about LGBT individuals, illegal immigrants, or Muslims, people would get fired. The fact that Strzok and Page haven't been fired is beyond the pale, he said. It's hard to understand how someone in law enforcement can say they truly hate and think virtually half the American public are assholes. Especially on the minds of the pro-life leaders is the recent confirmation that the Department of Justice has launched an investigation into Planned Parenthood and its alleged profiting from the harvesting of body parts of babies aborted in its clinics. We want to know from the FBI that there is not a bias or prejudice against the pro-life movement and the pro-life community, Mahoney said. Can we really expect fair investigations from an agency where maybe many of their key employees feel this way? In December, Justice Department Assistant Attorney General for Legislative Affairs Stephen Boyd formally requested unredacted documents from the Senate Judiciary Committee regarding its probe into Planned Parenthood and other abortion providers. According to Fox News, the letter requesting the documents, sent to committee chairman Senator Chuck Grassley, ARIA, and ranking member Senator Dianne Feinstein, DCA, is a rare confirmation of a federal investigation. At this point, the records are intended for investigative use only, we understand that a resolution from the Senate may be required if the department were to use any of the unredacted materials in a formal legal proceeding, such as a grand jury, Boyd wrote. A key point is there is an ongoing investigation against Planned Parenthood and other abortion providers on the human trafficking of body parts from aborted children, Mahoney explained, observing that even a liberal state like California, reached a $7.8 million settlement with two biomedical procurement companies following allegations they illegally profited from the sale of fetal tissue. The settlement also required Da Vinci Biosciences and DV Biologics, a sister company, to permanently close its operations in California. Yet, on a federal level, with the world's premier law enforcement agency, there has been no movement that we know about, and we would like to ask the director and get assurances that somehow this investigation has not been compromised because of political bias," said Mahoney. One of the most fearful things is to see law enforcement weaponized and politicized against different groups or individuals because of their political beliefs. Father Stephen Imbrato, a Roman Catholic priest with Priests for Life, 
is another of the pro-life leaders who joined the request for a meeting with Ray. First, I think FBI agents Strzok and Page should have been fired already for all the things they're already guilty of, but now it's come to light that they're biased also against the pro-life movement, Imbrato told Breitbart News. The pro-life movement has to unify and demand their resignation for that. Imbrato says the group will ask Ray for more specifics in the investigation into the Planned Parenthood aborted baby body parts scandal, the referral for which came from recommendations by the House Select Investigative Panel on Infant Lives and the Senate Judiciary Committee. Who's investigating the body parts scandal? Imbrato asks. They obviously have biased FBI agents that are politically oriented and this has no place in the investigative arm of our government. It should disturb everybody that we have high-profile FBI agents who do high-profile investigations, and they're totally and completely biased against the pro-life movement. Imbrato reflected on the U.S. federal government's apparent embrace of the abortion industry. My position is the U.S. government gave us pre-born child killing, allows pre-born child killing, protects the industry that is killing the babies, and funds the industry that is killing the babies, he said. We have to hold this government responsible for the mass murder of their own persons. Joy Newman, president of Operation Rescue, emphasized as well the seriousness of the concern that FBI agents who have disdain for the pro-life movement and may support Planned Parenthood could be conducting the investigation into America's largest provider of abortion. We know every investigation concerned with Planned Parenthood becomes political, he told Breitbart News. What do we already know about the FBI? He continued. According to the texts between Strzok and Page, they hate us. So, what sort of atmosphere inside the FBI lends itself for these FBI agents to publicly say they fund hate pro-lifers? We're very concerned whether the DOJ is going to be able to objectively investigate the nation's largest baby killer when they got $500 million from taxpayers. It's one of the largest lobbying entities in the country, if not the world, and then with the intrinsic hatred for pro-lifers and a bias toward the abortion industry, I just don't think we're going to get a fair shake," Newman concluded. Mahoney added that if Ray will not meet with the pro-life leaders, they will request a meeting with U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions. He stressed the importance of this issue for all Americans. Every American wants to know that federal law enforcement will not target them will not profile them, will not single them out," he said. And can we really expect a credible investigation if any of the agents leading the investigation think we're assholes and truly hate us? Breitbart News reached out to the FBI's National Press Office to inquire about whether Ray planned to meet with the pro-life activists. We do not comment on the director's schedule, replied Andrew C. Ames of the press office. office.